Words of Brother Isaiah here, familiar text to us. In uh, 43, 25, 26. The Lord by the prophet here is mourning in some sense, mourning that his people have not responded to him. Yet, as has just been said, God is tenacious. He will not be turned back. His word will not fall to the ground empty. And so he says, now what's revealed in these words, what's affirmed in these words, it's affirmed, that is, Israel already knew this. But they were apathetic. They were just not interested. And so God states it again so that we might have these words and that for those who've rejected him, it will be a testimony against them. But for those who believe, it will affirm and enable them. I, even I, am he that blotteth out thy transgressions for mine own sake and will not remember thy sins. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Now Israel un understood some of the concept that was stated here, yet this supersedes, this eclipses, <laughs> this eclipses anything that had been revealed to this point. Because as has been said, the things that are revealed by God has never has not entered into the harder mind of man. No man conceived what God was working in the earth. Amen. So that when this one who was promised, and Brother Isaiah is the one who says more than perhaps any other scripture writer about this promised one, mm -hmm. more details about it, even down to his appearance. That is, he had no appearance or form that we should desire him. He was not comely. He was sent from God. He was sent to do this work. You see, the, the work of blotting out sin was done in a person, as Brother Paul declared there in Colossians. It was in a person. All of these things. His, God's name was in this person. What God did in this man was first of all and primarily for his own sake not for the sake of men not for the sake of Israel but for his own sake this phrase for my own sake is stated again and again and again in the prophets it's a, I think it's 37 or 38 times in Ezekiel alone yeah. is this phrase stated about God working despite them their apathy, their arrogance and pride in themselves. I am he that blotteth out thy transgressions. Put me in remembrance. Now, brethren, when we come to the table here, we do so, we do so to remember, don't we? Huh. And yet we know that in heavenly places, this is also remembered. This is honored. Yeah. This is noted in a way that it, it, it cannot fade away. There are none in heavenly places who are apathetic about this reality which, for which we come to the table. These things which we remember. Now the Lord here in this text says, put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Mm. See, God is aggressive. Yeah. He's, he's aggressive to engage these things with his people. Amen. Now there was only a small remnant who was interested in doing so. 
After the master returned to the father, there was only 120 there. Yeah, they get only 120 people. Of the thousands that he impacted, of the thousands who ate the bread and the fish, of the, of the hundreds and thousands who saw the miracles and wonder works that he did, there was only 120 at that point who were still interested, who were devoted to these things that had been known, who waited in, in anticipation, believing the promise, looking for the fulfillment of these things as he had stated. And you know, their waiting was a form of putting God in remembrance, wasn't it? Yeah. Amen. It really was. Their anticipation of these things, looking for these things, even so is ours. Because we are looking and waiting till he comes, aren't we? Yeah. Till he come. We're remembering his death till he come. So in that sense, we're putting him in remembrance. And we're remembering, of course, that he has justified us. That he is the one that's blotted out our sin. There's a large number of texts in the prophets like this about God and his working to blot out our sin. Let me read you one of them from Brother David, where he says here in Psalm 103, he hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Jeremiah states the same thing. Isaiah states it three or four or five times in different words about God working to cleanse, to show mercy and kindness, and to make us able to to stand before him. So brethren, these are the things that we remember. The fulfillment of these things, the reality in which we participate now by our faith, by our trusting in this truth that has been delivered to us primarily by Brother Paul. The great bulk of it's been delivered to us by him, the exposition of these things, the opening up of these things about what happened there that no man saw and no man could see no man could enter in. No man could go up and bring him down. None could go down and bring him up. God has done these things. And so this is what we remember as we give our attention to these things at the table and honor his great working among us and in us now as we fellowship in these good things. Let's pray together. Father, we honor your name, your wisdom, and your goodness to us. We recognize our hopelessness without you, our utter hope and dependence upon you, and the hope that you've granted us of these good and precious things. And so we come to the table with our hearts and minds ready and alert, with the eyes of our heart open and set on the things that you've done in your son, Christ Jesus, our Savior. One who gave himself for us once for all. The one who put away sin by the sacrifice of himself and is seated at your right hand. Your own lamb. By whom you are just, you are just and the justifier of we who believe. So we trust these things. We trust the eternal weight of our soul on these things that you have worked and accomplished and fulfilled for us. And we are glad. We are at peace. And we are full of hope for what you have done and for what you continue to work in us in the fruit of his life his everlasting life. In Jesus we pray. Amen.